There are five main levels of SwiftUI code quality and only level five is the one that you should be aiming for. This is the level where recruiters will actually be reaching out to you. At level four, you get a pretty big chance to get a job you apply for, but at level three, you consider yourself lucky if you get hired. Let's see what it takes to be at level five and where you rank on this hypothetical scoreboard. So let's take a look at those five levels. We are going to start at level one and we are going to increment till we go up to level five. Now I have prepared a starter project and uh, we are going to take a look at that, but this is our uh, final project. We are at level one. We are going to go to the detail view and we're going to go back. Let's just dismiss that. Level two, detail view, dismiss. Uh, level three, detail view, dismiss again. Let's just swipe down the level four, detail view, dismiss again. And finally, level five, detail view and dismiss. And no joke, this is what we are going to build out. As you can see, it is the same uh, action. It is the same functionality uh, inside our code, but you are going to be amazed how the code differs from level one to level five. So go ahead and check out. If you want to skip the levels, then you can just uh, take a look at the chapters uh, down here below or in the description, of course. And um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Let's just take a look at our first uh, project, uh, so the starter project. And it is right over here. I have level five levels of Swift UI, and we are going to go through all of the levels. Now, this video is sponsored by me. As you can see, I have a brand new Christmas feeling right over here. And that's because we are having a Christmas sale. So go ahead and check out store.rebeloper.com. And uh, if you just uh, type in the coupon code CHRISTMAS22 or just go ahead and check out the link in the description, you will get 30% off on all my products. Now you can purchase the products uh, one by one or you can have all of my products at uh, one uh, discounted sale. Just go ahead, uh, navigation router error. Yes, go ahead, check it out. It's a store.rebeloper.com. Uh, it's our Christmas sale and it will end at the end of this year. Now let's get back to our our project and uh, this is our content view we just uh, have uh, is presented uh, one two three four five for our sheets and we have five of these root views and then we are just having these buttons that will present them so if we just build the run uh, you will just have uh, whatever what, basically what you saw already but we just have hello world instead of our you know what we are going to do inside the navigation so uh, let's see, uh, what you want to do is uh, go to level five. So you just be an expert in this navigation. Um, yeah, why navigation? Well, in Swift UI, the kind of the hardest part is to understand and to use navigation properly, how to handle data inside the navigation stack, how to uh, present views uh, in a, a good manner. Uh, so that's why uh, if you do know how to navigate in Swift UI, you will most probably have the highest chance to get hired. So let's start off with uh, level one. Here we go. It's just, you know, a simple root view one, and we're going to navigate to detail view one. So uh, what would you do? So yeah, again, we are starting off from the uh, junior level uh, and uh, from kind of level four, you are going to get hired. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do here is just add a navigation view uh, with a content and the content would be our navigation link. And with a title key, let's just go a detail view and the destination will be our detail view one. Okay, so uh, that's on the uh, root view side. Now let's take a look at uh, how the uh, detail view one looks like. It just has hello world. So I'm just going to uh, copy detail view one out and I'm just going to say hello detail view. This is kind of what you would do. It's a basic navigation. We have a navigation view, a navigation link, and then we are just presenting uh, uh, our detail view right over here. And of course we have our default back button. This is level one. It's okay. So um, it's, it's fine. We have navigation, but what is the problem right away? So what are kind of the shortfalls or the shortcomings uh, uh, that this has? First of all, we have a navigation view. Navigation view is deprecated in Swift UI 4. So you should use a navigation stack. 
Also, navigation link with a detailed uh, uh, destination of detail view one. Now, this is really like just tapping on the button and, you know, it's not really programmatic. It's like uh, it needs a user to initiate this navigation, uh, which is okay. But um, yeah, this is just level one. So what I suggest, is that we move on to level two. There we go, we are having progress, this is level two. So instead of navigation uh, view, we are going to use the newly created navigation stack. This is available iOS 16 plus uh, inside uh, SwiftUI 4. So we have navigation stack. And again, we are going to have a navigation link right over here with a title and destination. Uh, let's just go detail uh, view for our title and the destination will be our detail, come on, detail view two. So now, I, you know, I'm just uh, checking for level two here. So that's why I have detail to view here. Now on the uh, detail view two, well, what can we do even more? Because right over here, we just added the detail view. So it's just hello detail view, but we had only that back button that we could dismiss the detail view. So in this case, we are going to add another button and that is going to use the environment of dismiss. So uh, let me just add that environment. Uh, the key path is dismiss and I'm setting the variable name to dismiss. So now uh, uh, let me just copy this out again. So we just say hello detail view and uh, I'm going to add this into a VStack. And here's a cool little trick that's coming from Xcode 14. If you just add this parentheses right over there, it's just going to indent the uh, views inside that vertical stack. So let's just have our button and uh, let's just name this dismiss. And the action would be just simply dismiss. Okay, so again, this is a little bit more. It's that level two. It's not uh, like rocket science. Let's just see that. So detail view, uh, we have the back button, which we already had with the level one. And then we can just call this dismiss, which is one step better. Okay, that's level two. Again, you kind of have to be level four and above. So let's see what we still have on a uh, level uh, free. Let's just go into the root view. Now, uh, for this, actually, we uh, need, you know, when we are having this root view too, we uh, are initializing this navigation stack on the root view itself. But this is kind of a bad practice because uh, what if we wanted to reuse our root view? Therefore, I advise you to create your navigation stacks on a container view. So right over here under level three, we are going to create a new file. I would just name this, uh, let it be a Swift UI view. Let's just name this a root container view free. There we go, root container view free. And right over here, I'm going to create our navigation stack. So I'm just moving that navigation stack into the root container view and I'm having this uh, root view free right over here. Now, this kind of seems like uh, overloading. So, you know, we have too much code. Why didn't we add that? But this makes sure that root view doesn't have our navigation stack. So now instead of uh, root view free, I want to copy this out and inside the content view, let's just go right over here. I want to replace that oh i mistakenly selected something else so root container view let me just copy this out and paste this inside the sheet destination okay so uh, what's up next how can we make this even a better well uh, we can actually uh, yeah we can just uh, create our detail view so yeah basically that's it for level three let me just go for root view free so what do we add to our root view free well because we are not having our you know navigation stack right over here we need to create a vertical stack and then we are simply just going to grab our navigation link from there let's just paste it in there. We're going to go to the detail view free and on the detail view free, we are just going to grab our environment and just copy that out, paste it in there. And then again, we are going to have this uh, button with the dismiss. 
again, as you can see, I am building upon uh, the previous version of our uh, our level. Okay, so that is how we can have a separate, you know, navigation view stack for, you know, uh, our uh, root view free. Uh, it could be another view as the root, so that's why I chose to have a root container view. Let's go on to uh, navigation, like level four. Here, again, I'm going to create a root container view, but now I'm going to have a path for it because this root view free is just a navigation link. Uh, you know, it's just going to have a destination and then you can just pop back. I know it's not obvious right over here, but you actually shouldn't or actually you can't uh, go and have these navigation links one after the other. You want to have a path. So for that, we are going to create a navigation path. Let's just go uh, under level four. We want to add a new file and that will be root container view four. There we go. And uh, we are going to create actually a state variable for our path right over here. So uh, private state uh, path, and that will be a navigation path. Okay, so uh, now uh, we are going to use the other navigation stack initializer that has our path and the root. So right over here, we're just going to go dollar and path and on the root view, well, because we do want to use this path on the root view four, so let's just add here root view four so we don't have any issues on the root view four, we want to move our path because we want to access it. So what we are going to do, uh, well, actually before that, I'm going to add in our navigation destinations uh, for our uh, detail view. So let's just have a navigation destination for, and we're going to use int values self uh, for our trigger for our destinations. We are going to have here int value and then we are going to just go switch int value. Uh, the default value would be an empty view. And um, let's just go with a case of zero. I'm going to go detail view uh, four. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Now we have set up our navigation destination. We have to do uh, have access to our path on our root view four. So uh, let's just uh, do that. We are going to have a binding right over here. So at binding, there we go. Uh, var path of type a navigation path. And now if we just go back right over here, we want to add our path right over here, dollar sign path. And while we are at it, uh, because we are also going to use our path inside our detailed for view, uh, uh, let's see, well, actually, let me just see. Yes, we are going to dismiss uh, right over there. So let's just add that in there. And then we can also add our path dollar sign path. So now we have uh, access up to our path on our root view four and our detail view four also. So what do, how do we actually navigate? So in the root view, uh, we are going to have another vertical stack right over here. So uh, let's just have our root. Well, actually, let's just have a simple button. Uh, button with the title of a detail view. There we go. And the action, now how can we navigate the way? Well, we just go path dot append and we want to append the hashable and we know we are listening for destinations of int values. So we're going to append zero right over here. Let's remove the previews. We don't really need that. And uh, finally, uh, we want to have a root uh, destination for our uh, detail view four. And uh, let me just go ahead and uh, uh, add a VStack right over here. Uh, v, well, actually, let me just copy this out and paste, paste that inside the detail view. Let's have the VStack and let's move our text over there. And uh, now I want to have a button with the title of this miss. 
and the action would be now uh, we are not using the environment so uh, what are we going to do well we have access to our path and we are going to remove the last okay uh, and also i'm going to remove uh, this part okay now that is level four if you kind of know all of this uh, you most probably uh, will get a job when you are applying for a job. But let's take a look at level five. Now, level five is where recruiters will come after you so they can hire you. So for level five, we need to set up uh, a few things. And the first thing is a navigation destination. Now, you know, we had this as zero, but what is zero, a pending zero? Uh, you want to check what the case of zero is. So let's create that. Let's create an enum and uh, I will create a new file right over here under level five. Uh, it will be a Swift file called navigation destination. There we go. And uh, this will have a simple enum uh, called navigation destination. And this has to be hashable. So that's one thing that we have to add in here. And we are going to have a case of detail view, of course, that is where we want to navigate. And in my case, I'm also going to add uh, dependency injection. So we uh, are adding here a name of string. So we are going to kind of move uh, value of name uh, with our navigation. That's our navigation destination. Also, we don't really like this part. So on our uh, detail, uh, sorry, on our container view right over here, we've got this navigation destination for in. This is kind of like not good looking. So I'm going to create an extension for this. And uh, let's create again a new file, a Swift file, and that will be a view plus navigation there we go let's create that and this will be an extension on the view so we need to import swift ui let's have extension on the view itself let's create a function called uh, with navigation destinations something like that so with navigation destinations okay and uh, this will be of some uh, view Okay, and on self we are actually, uh, let me just, uh, well, let's just type out, it's, it's easier. So navigation destination four, and right over here, we are going to have navigation destination, the enum that we have created, dot self. And this is great because it's hashable, if you remember that. Now we need to have destination right over here, and uh, destination nation there we go and we just go switch destination uh, and we are going to have one case in our case it's a detail view with a name so let's have that as a constant let and then we just go detail view five and currently it's just detail view five we are not using the name so uh, let's just go into detail view and have a constant so let name of type string okay and we are going to just use it right over here so hello name great so if we go back to our destination we just go name and we just pass our string along uh, as a parameter really great okay so uh, now it's time to create our container because yeah you know we want to use the best practices that we learned so far so let's create a new file and uh, that will be a swift ui view and that is uh, root container view 5. Uh, let's make that a capital c Okay, so what do we uh, have to do in our root container view? Well, first of all, we want to create a, a navigation state. And uh, for that, we are going to create our navigation state right over here. So let's create a new file and that will be a Swift file and navigation state right over there. Navigate state now you might be wondering what is this navigation state well right over here on the uh, root container view we have this navigation path and uh, you know it's okay but we are passing this along as you know these bindings and we have to move them along our detail view 4 and our root view 4 
I would suggest that we create a navigation state as an environment object. So let's create, first of all, our navigation state. It will be a class. Uh, let's name that navigation state. Uh, it is observable object. And what we're going to use here is at published var uh, path and uh, of type. Well, let's just initialize this as a navigation path. Okay, that's uh, our first thing to uh, do here. So now what we want to do is some functionality to either navigate to a certain navigation destination or to dismiss any of those uh, views. So I'm going to create a function right over here uh, called navigate and uh, navigate to and that is navigation destination there we go and we have this as a navigation destination and uh, again i'm going to use the same thing that we uh, uh, did before in level four but now i'm just going to do this inside this observable object so we're going to append our navigation destination right over there and uh, finally let's create our function of dismiss there we go and then just path dot uh, remove last. Okay, so now that we have our navigation state set up, it's time to use it. So uh, inside our root container view, we are actually going to initialize it. So uh, we are going to create it as a private state object. So private state object, uh, let's call this navigation state and navigation state there we go and what we want to do is uh, first of all let's create our navigation stack as usual inside our container with the path and the root and the path will be uh, dollar navigation state dot path and then the root will be our root view five let me just search for that there we go root view five and uh, what we are going to do is just have an environment object set up for our navigation state. And because we have already uh, set this up, we are going to have this uh, view modifier with navigation destination set on the root view five. As you can see, this is much more clearer, much more concise. Now let's see what we have on our navigation root view five. What we want to do again is nav navigate to our uh, uh, detail view. So now what we have to do is just simply access our navigation state. So a private environment object, uh, we are going to have this as navigation state of type navigation state uh, let's create our v stack right over here v stack and let's add a button uh, and we are going to have this as detail view uh, the action now we are going to use our navigation state dot navigate to and then dot detail view with the name of detailed view or whatever uh, string that you might want to attach uh, there. Now, finally, let's just go into the detail view five. Right over here, we have our name, but we want to dismiss. Uh, first of all, let's just remove our preview and let's import our private environment object of navigation state. Come on, state of type navigation state. And now we can just have our V stack right over here. And uh, we can also add our button of dismiss. So button title and dismiss, come on with a capital D. And for the action, we're just going to access our navigation states dot dismiss function. And that couldn't be easier. Let's just build and run right now. As you can see, we just moved uh, uh, one level up. Let's see what we have here. Okay, yes. So uh, I just forgot that we have to have the root view con root containers set up on these sheets. So I'm just going to add those free in there. So root container view free and four. So uh, as you can see, it will do the same thing. Uh, let's just swipe that down. Level two, we have the detail view button. We can just dismiss. Also, we can use the back button. Okay, level three, which is kind of okay. If you're lucky, you uh, are going to get a job uh, if you apply for one. Let's just go back. Now, level four, 
this is definitely you, uh, you can get a job with this level of knowledge of navigation in Swift UI and in Swift UI in general. And now level five. Now recruiters will come for you if you are going to set up navigation in this uh, fashion. Now, of course, there's always a level six, and I would highly recommend that you take a look at my uh, navigation router right over here. It's on sale currently. Christmas 22 is the coupon code that we want to use, or just click the link in the description where you can actually do quite a lot more. And uh, here we go. We have simple and unified API, async await. And the most important part here is that you can easily set up any kind of navigation, not just pushing like we uh, saw in this case for a navigation stack. You can also present sheets, uh, full screen covers, and uh, we can also pop. So top model, we can also deep link and deep pop. We have dependency injection. It's really, really fun. Go ahead and check it out. I also have uh, other uh, uh, stuff on sale right over here. Again, it's Christmas 22 uh, coupon code or click the link in the description. And if you want to take a look at how navigation router works, go ahead and check out the video is right over here.